Rare is it that I even remotely remember to not open this up immediately. Um, so this is like my stationary birthday haul. I should have brought scissors, shouldn't I? Um, I guess I could take these out without having the need for scissors. Nope, I need scissors. Okay, so this is going into the birthday vlog, um, which is supposed to be next week. Um, this whole stationary uh, haul that I have here right now uh, was supposed to come at the 12th of October. Today is just the 4th, which is technically also my it's my lunar birthday today actually. So I'm opening gifts um, for myself. I bought these uh, just out of a whim because I wanted to buy new stationery for the new year as I have acquired a new kinboard. So I broke my stationery no spend or stationery buying ban for these and it's just a little bit of something. I do have a bunch of stamps here and I do have my notebook here to the side so that we could swatch. I did have, um, let's do this in order. Um, the first of all, I did buy a few sticky notes. I have been doing so well when it comes to like using up my sticky notes so I decided to just purchase a few this will be perfect I guess perfect perfect for the month of November and this other one that is like very Chinese looking in theme of like watercolor or ink uh, ink wash sort of art is perfect for my kinbar because my kinbar um, looks like Chinese bamboo groves anyway and the last one is just a peach <laughs> I just wanted a fruit related uh, sticky note and that's what I got next one here is uh, this is an additional little something also for the kinbar it is the Van Gogh which painting is this a vase of roses it said um, this is supposed to be a metallic bookmark and I just wanted it for like maybe a monthly spread or like a page that I would turn to often. Um, I think this one was the freebie, so for like my order, um, if I end up having a bundle of purchase or something, I get a freebie. And there are a lot of freebies, a lot of stickers. Um, I decided to choose this one, which is a bunch of like vintage paper, like pretty little papers. Um, I decided to get this pack because I wanted to change up a bit all of my like the way I collage and my aesthetic I guess I wanted to I always wanted to try like like vintage collaging so this is like my step towards that um, wanting to try new things so I got that as a freebie um, the washi tapes the washi tapes I always wanted to get this one um, I will swatch it at the end so you can see all of it but I always wanted to get this one particularly for this specific one it's like dragon scales for me and it's also gold um, gilding and it's just three sets of black with gold gilding I keep telling myself that there is no occasion for me to purchase any more washi tape when I have so many already um, but since it's my birthday I could uh, I made uh, made it a point to use up some of my washi tapes before I buy any more so this is the set and of course what is my haul without like a bunch of cats I have a bunch of cats here uh, cat related items I've already tried to open it and rip rip this up um, I'm going to put it here on my journal and then I'm going to try and save like uh, these um, designs in the front, uh, maybe for my kin board in the future, but these are just basically cat noodles. <laughs> really like how angry this one looks. Um, I'm going to save those, and it's all just like cats. I can see it. This has also been in my cart for the longest of time, and we're going to swatch that later as well. Uh, only five rolls of washi tape. That's that's not bad. And um, next will be all of my stamps. I do have my stamp pad here uh, to the side. One of it is the garden cat. Another cat one. Um, it has like sparkles of flowers. But to me, uh, I don't know why. When I saw this, um, to me it was like um, four leaf clovers. So I decided to get those for like whatever I have gotcha related. Um, we we'll call this gacha related um, spreads. I would like to use that. 
there are also a lot of these floral stamps as you can see I'm leaning into the botanical nature um, vintage ephemera sort of um, uh, aesthetic for this haul uh, except for the cats and of course Japanese style and this is like um, sparkle sea of stars which is good for like borders and such so we're going to swatch those as well with my stamp pad to the side I'll just finish this up this is um, anything like this void cat situation his name is Mr. Edgar and he plays at night <laughs> is the name of like uh, written there and it's just like all void cat related like I, I shouldn't say void cat because void cat is another domain but it's just all black cats and being um, super funny super quirky and this is so fun I am enjoying these and I am excited to use them in my Kenbor next year and the last sticker set here is of course, of course like Japan related art I think this is in the yeah it's a postage stamp form like all the old classic art Japanese art and there are a lot of those it's kind of sticking so I have to like peel it off one by one and when I saw this I'm like I really wanted those maybe for like a monthly spread or like a sidebar situation and yeah those are this is like the mini haul um, I was trying to hold myself to the purchasing like at a price limit and since stamps and washi tapes are kind of pricey that's why uh, I only limited myself to like a few um, few rolls and a few um, what do you call this a few stamps because they are quite pricey so here's the whole haul with all of the swatches that I have here. I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, my ink pad is running low on ink, so that's why it's kind of bit, uh, faded, but they work. And for the price that I pay for it, I'm pretty pleased with it. So yeah, I'm going to just insert this clip somewhere in my birthday vlog and count as my birthday haul. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Come on! Change. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Hello, we are back home. I am going to haul like the birthday gifts that I've got over the weekend. Today is the 14th of October and I have received a couple of presents from my brother, um, my uh, best friend, and then I bought something for myself and also my dad. So the first thing that you actually cannot see um, in this haul is because I am currently using it. Um, so the like uh, microphone arm or like the boom arm we call it uh, that my phone has been attached to for almost all of my videos like my tabletop videos I do have an attachment for the phone to the boom arm but it's not like compatible so my phone has always been on the edge tethering on the edge of the boom arm every time I film that's why I am being super careful whenever I move the table and this time I do have now the attachment the proper attachment for the phone and so if I move the table it jiggles a little bit but it's not as as you can see it's not as precariously um, teetering on the edge so I'm pretty pleased with this new boom arm we are using the second one um, are actually uh, three a set of three <laughs> my best friend my best friend and I have always been giving each other like um, things that we know the other person loves and will eventually use so most of the time it's um, planners, notebooks, journals, and then some strange item. So this year, my best friend did not give me any of like the planners and notebooks because I am reducing my notebook stash, she knows this. And somehow, like a couple of months ago, I believe, I sent her a reel about this woman who did diamond paintings on the cover of one of her books. And she got me diamond painting sets and I've always wanted to try this however um, she did write it in her like uh, birthday note to me that I know you want this but you won't specifically buy it for yourself even though you I know you want to try it so she got me these three designs one is a tulip which is super pretty the other one is like a litter of kittens um, so cute and then the last one is classic starry night Van Gogh one of my favorite paintings, of course, of all time. And so those are the three. I really wanted to start the tulips one because it's like the most autumn -y colors, I guess. Um, I want to start it and then maybe put it in frame and display it around the house. But I will find the time because I don't have like the um, containers for all of the gems yet. So that is something that I am looking for as of the moment. So uh, this is a project for another time. I don't know if I'm going to like do a little bit of an ASMR video or maybe a live stream of some sort but we'll see if not then this is like just for myself and then I will show you the updates and the ending or like the end part because I would love to listen to an audiobook while doing this if I'm being perfectly honest the third one is from my brother and he knows I love Momo San I've been talking about it a lot recently and I also love cinnamon roll and he got me a Momo San plush cosplaying a cinnamon roll and it also has that uh, twirl um, tail at the back and this is so adorable I love it so much I love it so much and the other one is banana cat banana cat like I have seen a lot of plushies even on um, at fully booked uh, of like uh, what I call this mofusan and banana outfits and like so adorable look at them like I really love it when cats have like droopy ears because it looks sad <laughs> it looks sad and oh man so cute! I really love them. And I, I'm keeping it by my bedside now because of how adorable they both look. And I kind of want it's this is not going to stand at all. Maybe that way? Yeah. We're going to put them there to the side so you can see. And then the next one is something that I bought for myself. I did mention last time that I will be getting a book for my birthday and I decided to buy the Sun and the Star uh, by Rick Riordan and uh, Mark Oshiro. Uh, Nico D'Angelo Adventures. This is basically uh, Nico and Will Solis. Smells so good for a new book, actually. And this is a hefty one, 460 something pages of uh, just Nico D'Angelo and Will Solis. And I've always loved this ship. I always loved this pair in the Percy Jackson universe. And I wanted to read this physically, even though I already have. There's a glare. I'll just put it to the side for now. Um, I already have the digital copy of this, but I really want to. Um, have a physical copy of it and then this is just random but I really love this design like I always love that scallop sort of design kind of like fish or mermaid um, but this is like uh, Japanese style I don't know but I really love this it's like one of those 
random collections I see off of like stationery shop uh, in the mall and I got one and it's actually just a blue ballpoint pen. Um, I might end up changing the um, inside if I can look for one but if not this is like a good display piece for like stationery and I just really love this design. So, so those are like last minute gifts for my birthday this weekend and I'm just going to run you guys through what happened over the course of the last two days during my best friend and I's vacation. So I'm going to move these guys a little bit so you can see because it's a two-page spread. Um, I did finish journaling about it, like as you can see here. Hold on a second. I had to raise the camera just a little bit so you could see the whole spread. And I just journaled about the staycation. So you've already seen like this clips leading up to this um, whole end of the video part of this whole vlog. And my best friend and I ate at Rice and Rolls for lunch. Um, sadly, there is no ramen or ramyun uh, when we went there, but it is like um, eat all you can chicken. Um, uh, fried chicken, uh, Korean fried chicken with different flavors and we realized very quickly that we are not like our younger selves and we are not able to finish more than three plates of fried chicken which is like two pieces per plate. So I ate six pieces of chicken while she ate four and we just realized that um, we aren't that um, as young as we thought we were when it comes to food um, consumption but we still had fun. We went out to get groceries and finally checked into Richmond Hotel for our staycation. Uh, in the hotel, uh, we managed to play a bunch of games actually and I also filmed a video with Angel. So uh, for November, my November TBR video, she is going to be featured there. There's going to be a lot of like laughs and such. I haven't edited it yet, but I remember laughing so hard uh, while filming it. It's like my very first video with Angel in the room talking to the camera. Um, it's always like a cameo or like a little bit of a short clip or like she's, she's helping me pick out but not talking to the camera. But this time she's talking to the camera and like super fun, it's like super commentary and such. We had fun. And we also played a bunch of games. And so I brought a couple of games. I brought Scrabble, a deck of cards, and Uno. And she wrecked me at uh, Scrabble. I do have like our score sheet here to the side. Like a washi taped it in and she got 271 points and I got 234 points. Um, mainly because she got a lot of those uh, corner triple word bonuses and it just so happens that I get super long words but they're all like one in denomination in value I guess um, I have like good words like thieved and tavern um, I got rid of a lot of letter V's and letter X and also a Q and it's just so weird that I have a lot of bubbles as well but I, I had a good run, it was fun, it's just super long to finish. So we only had one game and she won that game. And then uh, come evening, we actually went out again to order pizza and milk tea for our dinner. We had that little regular size, six slices, or was it four, eight or six slices, um, pizza. And we were so stuffed. We were so stuffed to the point where in, um, what do I call this? Uh, we had to sleep very late because we are still full and you cannot really sleep on a full stomach. So we ended up sleeping at around 2 a.m. Um, we watched a few episodes, a couple episodes of Dungeon Meshi, which is one of my favorite anime. I'm so glad that my best friend is able to watch it and we're actually buddy reading the manga now. And yeah, it was super enjoyable. We only got to 15 um, episodes actually uh, in the evening and uh, she's going to continue it until the 24th episode and read the manga. I also actually got uh, five packs of Pokemon cards and most of them are hits and I'm super happy about it. I have left in, in this video two of my reactions to getting full arts, but from uh, October 13th to the 17th, I'm actually uh, putting out reels of all of the pack openings that I have. So five packs, five days. and. The rest of the night, we just played. Um, this is her letter in the present. I actually opened um, the diamond painting uh, at around 12 uh, midnight as well as I did not actually um, film any of my um, polls for what I call this cookie run as well as Themis and Genshin because I did not get anything in Themis. I did get like three, like two super epics and one legendary cookie out of like 100,000 gems so it's kind of small so never mind um, and also 
it was super enjoyable. I had a fun weekend. Um, when I got home, I actually was feeling sort of super tired because I wasn't able to sleep properly while I was there. But in any case, I did have fun. It was a fun experience. This is the first time actually that uh, Angel and I got to hang out and sleep over um, or like sleep at all in a hotel, like just the two of us because um, we used to do that when we went to like field trips, like just one field trip, I guess. Um, and it was like with a group of people. So this is a nice cozy weekend. It rained. There are some accidents that happened during the rain that I will not mention. But for my sake in the future, when I rewatch this, if I want to have memory keeping, you could read if you want. <laughs> what happened, but I will not talk about it um, audibly, but some things happened, but I'm fine I'm so lucky that nothing broke and yeah, that is my birthday weekend and I'm super happy about it um, And I hope you enjoy uh, this video as well. So yeah, as for my wish list I actually did manage to get at least one of the, the presents or like two actually of the presents that I have here in my wish list and it has been a successful birthday weekend and I hope you enjoy this video Thank you so much for hanging out with me this week on a very, very special week of mine. And I will hope to see you again in the next video. So until then, guys, take care and bye!